Welcome. This video, we're going to look at the core box for the Lord of the Rings card game and do a solo playthrough showing the basics of how to play. So Fantasy Flight had a restocking of the LCG for Lord of the Rings, so I thought I'd get a copy of the core set to highlight here. So this is more of a starter box, so with that, we'll go over what comes in it. Of course, you get their standard learn to play guide, and this is back in the day when they didn't give you the rules reference. You have to go online to get a PDF of that. But this does have everything you need to really learn how to play. The rules reference is just an alphabetical, more comprehensive guide. So we've got a first player token, two threat dials, then we have damage, progress, and resource tokens. Got our quest card. So this game comes with three different scenarios we can go through. So of varying lengths. So we've got passage through Merkwood, then journey along the Anduin, and escape from Dol Guldor. And I'm gonna butcher some names. And these are varying difficulties. So if you look through here, these range from a one to 10 in difficulty. We've got a difficulty level of one, so the easiest, then a four and a seven. And so things can get harder. Then we have seven different stacks of encounter cards, which are gonna be different by the type of symbol on them. And they'll tell you there's, this is one of 10 in that set. And I don't think that one has any. Some of them do have a gold ring around them. They'll let you know if you're playing normal mode or if you want to play easy mode, you can find all those cards and take them out for an easier experience because this is a tough game. So on the scenario card, it's going to tell you which pictures to or icons for creating the encounter deck. So we see we need a little spider, a demon face and a tree. So we'd go through here going, well, here's the spiders. We're gonna need all the cards from that set. The little face there and the tree and shuffle all those together to create the scenario pack for that set. Then we have four starter decks, highlighting the four different spears of influence. So we have tactics. So we've got Thalen, Legolas and Gimli are gonna be the heroes in this set. So up top, they're gonna to have their cost and threat for starting the game with. Then for progressing, attacking and defending and their health and special abilities and just letting you know they are tactics. So all of their cards. Then we have leadership with Glowin, Theodred and Aragorn and all of their cards. Symbol of Spirit with Dunhir, Eleanor, and Eowyn. And then Lore. So Berevor, Glorfindel, and Denethor. So that's all the components. So let's go ahead and set up for a game. Okay, for a setup, I am going to go with one of the starter decks. So we'll see what happens with that. Our decks have allies, attachments, and events. So cost up here, their stats, health, and special abilities. Attachments go on to whoever it specifies to get attached to and one time use events. Give this a shuffle. Then we can have one to three heroes. We're gonna look at the number up top. So 10, 12, and eight, add those together. That's gonna to be our starting threat. We'll take our dial to that. If this gets to 50, we lose. Another way to lose is if all of our heroes are knocked out. So health is shown here. We've got our willpower, attack strength, and defensive strength, special abilities. It's all time to look at the top card of the encounter deck. You may move that card to the bottom. Pay a resource from his pool to heal one damage from any character. And exhaust to choose a player. That player draws two cards, limit once per round. So we'll go ahead and put them down and play. Then we have our quests. All are gonna have the same name here. So you can see we've got three different quests to go through and two options for the last one. This is gonna tell us what 
Some counter sets we add to this, we've got a little spider, someone's face, and a tree symbol. So we get those decks and shuffle those together. Now, since I'm using a starter deck, and it's been about a decade since I've played this game, I'm gonna play on easy mode. So you take out the ones with the gold border around that symbol. And hopefully that means we will stand a chance on this, because this game is not the easiest to get through. Okay, then we've got some flavor text. So you're traveling through Mirkward Forest carrying an urgent message from King Thranduil to Lady Galadriel of Lorien. As you move along the dark trail, the spiders gather around you. Um, set up search encounter deck for a copy of the forest spider and one copy of the old forest road. Add them to the staging area, then shuffle the encounter deck. So I've got those here. So the location, I've got a threat value it's adding against it. Some more encounter value. So we can get rid of that. And then an enemy with threat, attack, defense, and health. So here's my staging area. Go ahead and flip this over. So we need eight progress tokens to go on to the next one. Nastiest things they saw were the cobwebs, dark, dense cobwebs with threads extraordinarily thick, often stretched from tree to tree or tangled in the lower branches on either side of them. There were none stretch across the path, but whether because some magic kept it clear or for what other reason, they could not guess. So, like I said, we need to progress through all these, doing what they want us to do without that getting a 50 or all these people dying. So we'll go ahead and shuffle these together. And that's gonna almost finish our setup. So we would draw six cards. We are allowed one mulligan. When we mulligan here, we just take all the cards, shuffle back into our deck, and then draw another six. Um, so not selective. I typically like allies, so I want to see at least two, and we've got two. So we're going to keep what we've got and not risk anything else. So we're ready to get started. So a round overview. We've got seven phases to go through. Looks like a lot of steps, but they're going to go pretty quick. So the resource phase. We gain resources and draw a card. For each hero we have, each of them gets a resource. Then we draw into an attachment. So that phase is done. Planning phase, we get to play cards from our hand. I'm gonna go ahead and play him. So it costs a two, take these resources off, bring him into play. So then questing phase, so we commit characters to our quest, try to progress our quest. Staging, drawing another card, which is gonna to add to the negative effect. Then we do our quest resolution. If our willpower's, willpower is higher than our threat value, we add progress tokens. If this is higher than our willpower, our threat goes up. And since I'm not adding anyone to this quest, or will I? No, I'm not. So we've got zero willpower. This is gonna come out. So when revealed, each player must choose one character currently committed to a quest and remove that character from the quest. Chosen character does not ready. We don't have any, so that does nothing. The Black Forest Bats. So now we are comparing our zero willpower. That gets one, two, three, four. So we're gonna raise our threat by four, up to 34. Travel phase. We can take any location from over here, put it in our active area. And what that does is it's gonna subtract that threat value when we go questing. Then our encounter phase, optional engagement is more for multiplayer games. If you wanted to take an enemy so someone else, say someone else couldn't handle it, you could do that. But we're gonna go straight to engagement checks. We're gonna compare this number, and if it's equal to or less than our threat, it's gonna come into play. So guess what? Both of them are coming into play. So after the spider engages a player, gets plus one attack until the end of the round, so he'll be attacking for three, and this guy doesn't have anything extra, just attacking for one. 
So for our combat phase, we're going to deal each of the enemies a shadow card, which could give them a possible boost. Then resolve enemy attacks, then we resolve our attacks. So if we want to defend, we have to exhaust our characters. So that's the decision making in this. We either exhaust to quest, exhaust to defend, or exhaust to attack. So unfortunately, we can't defend and attack. So he's going to defend against that, and no one's going to defend against that one. So we'll resolve this one. It's got a shadow effect. Defending player must choose an exhausted character he controls. Two characters if this was undefended. Well, we'll defend that guy. So he's got three attack against our three defense. No damage is taken. We're not defending on this. No effect, so it's just one damage that we have to assign to one of our heroes, which will be there. Then we are going to team up these two to go into him, so we're going to add our attack values together, so three and two, so we've got five. Going to get one defense, so four is going to break through, which is enough to take out the spider. And we've got nothing to deal with that guy. So we go on to our refresh phase, so we're going to ready our characters. Increase our threat by one, and then multiplayer, pass first player token. So 35. And now we rinse and repeat till either we meet the win condition or we die, or the threat gets too much for us to bear. Start of turn, each of our heroes gains a resource. Notice that's just heroes, not our allies. Draw a card. We are going to spend two resources to bring him in. So we can exhaust him to choose a player and that player draws a card. Use his ability to spend a resource to heal and committing towards our quest. We'll commit those for one, two, three, four. And got a difference of two, but it's on our side. So we'll put that towards our active location. Counter phase, ooh, when revealed, each player must choose and exhaust a character they control. Then the engagement phase, he's gonna come down to attack us. I'm going to deal there. And their shadow cards, he's defending. So raise defender player's threat by four. That's not good. So up to 39. But it's three against our three defense. This guy's swinging for one. No one's defending. We'll put a damage on here, and for our attack, swinging for two, no defense, two health, taken care of. End our turn. Raise our threat up to 40. All right, three resources. Drawn to secret paths, choose a location in a staging area to not have it count. All right, if we want that thing dead, we need at least four attack going against it. So we're gonna have Well, I guess we get to play something first. We'll spin three to bring that in. Spin one to heal. Now committing towards the quest. One, two, three, and four. When revealed, each enemy in each location currently in a staging area gets plus one until the end of the phase. If there are no cards in the staging area, it's gained surge, so we'll draw another card instead. All right, so we've got another location. So two, so one, two, three, four. So we've got two coming over. Nice thing about locations is once they get completed, this does carry over to our main quest. 
That gets discarded. Travel phase, we'll take that over. Fill the top card, then counter deck, add it to the staging area. It's not the best thing to do. So that comes out. There's no encounters to do, so straight to combat. So defending, a base three. So we defended against that, and then we can team up. So we've got four attack going against one defense and three to kill the king spider. And end her turn. All right, three resources. Drawing into another daughter. We're going to spend all three to bring her in. Quest phase. Yeah, I'm going to go all out on this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Against two, three, four. So four is going through. Two goes through that. Two breaks through. Their Mountains of Murkward leaves play, has an explored location. Each player may search the top five cards of his deck for one card, add it to your hand, and shuffle the rest. Um, shuffle the rest of the search cards into our decks. So looking at five cards. Ooh, there's Gandalf. He's pretty expensive, though. Reducing threat by five might be good, but it's going to take two turns to be able to pay for that. But we're going to do that anyway, so we'll take that card, and shuffle these in. Travel phase, go to this location. After you travel to the Force Gate, first player may draw two cards. Gets us a snare and another ally. No encounters, no combat, so refresh. And we're up to 41. All right, next turn, resources card. Got some cunning. We're going to spin one to attach this here. Discard as an action. Discard a card from your hand to give attach hero plus one defense or plus one willpower until the end of the phase. Limit three times per phase. Then... We'll have those go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, using that ability, taking it up to 10. So we're gonna be a positive six. Four goes on that, two goes through. Travel phase, while well, the stream is active location, players cannot draw cards. Encounter phase, this guy comes in, attack of two, after he engages a player, he gets plus one attack till the end of the round. So combat, defend. So just three on three, we're good. We can't attack for one, but a shield blocks it. So refresh. Go up to 42. Get our three resources. So go to draw a card and can't. I'm gonna put that there as a reminder. We're gonna bring in Gandalf, cost of five. 
So options, the end of the round, discarding from play. After he enters play, we can choose to draw three cards, deal four damage to one enemy in play, or reduce threat by five. So it could auto kill that, but I think the five threat's a bigger issue. So go down to 37. We are going to commit to the quest with those, so one, two, three, four, and eight. So we've got two there, so six is going through. Get rid of that. Four goes on this, which is going to take it to nine. All right, we're off to the next one. Fork in the road. So move through Mirkwood, hounded by spiders, the forest path forks before you. Unsure of what lies ahead, but spurred by the urgency of your message, you choose a path to follow. Forced, when you defeat this stage, proceed to one of the two, uh, a chosen path stages at random. So we'll just roll a dice for that. And this has two on it. Got no travel, so this guy's going to, oh, when revealed, the first player chooses one character currently committed to the quest and deal two damage to that character. Oh, thanks, Gandalf. And then he's coming in. And then we will defend and defend. So here, base two, so three attack, we have a three defense, we're fine. So here, base two, we have a defense of two and fine. So ready all our cards. This goes up to 38. End of the round, Gandalf gets discarded. So next turn, we get three resources. Draw into a miner. We're going to spin two to bring him in. All right, committing to the quest. We want those to attack with, along with him. All right, we'll commit all those to the quest. So we've got four. It's two, so two goes on here, which is gonna pass through that. So these are gonna be random. Just gonna roll a die, low and high. All right. Shadows grow darker and you realize that a foul presence is aiming to draw you from the path. You must defeat it to pass this way. When revealed, each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for one spider card of the choice and add it to the staging area. Players must find and defeat uh, the spawn to win this game. So I think that's a big spider we've already discarded. Yep. So add that to the... Um, staging area when revealed. Each character currently committed. We've already done that. So fortunately, once again, that doesn't affect us. So travel phase. Each player may, each player must exhaust one hero he controls to travel here. Um, don't think we're going to travel then. So this guy's coming out, and sorry, that guy's not going to make it out of this. So we get shadow cards revealed. Defending there. We'll defend there and defend there. So nothing extra, just his five attack coming in. Here, base two which we defend against, and there, base two, which we defend against. 
Then we're going to attack for three, which will take care of that. I'm going to end the turn. Go up to 39. Gain our resources. Draw on him. After you play him, return the topmost attachment from our discard pile to our hand. But we are going to play a four snare. Cost of three. Attached to an enemy engaged with a player, which is us. I don't think, yeah, we can attach that to him. So we're snaring the spider with the forest. Attached enemy cannot attack. So questing. We're gonna send those two. Bring that up, so we've got four. Two going in, so threat gets raised by two, up to 41. We will travel now and exhaust one of our characters. Nothing else to encounter. So we still do get shadow cards dealt to it. Just might not attack, so defending there. All right, attacking enemy gets plus one attack. So three attack on three, nothing. I'll put five on this guy, even though I probably should go after that. I want to get rid of that in case another one comes out. So that's going to defeat him. Ender turn, up to 42. Next round, get our resources. We're going to spend two to bring him in. After he, after you play him, return the topmost attachment from our discard pile to her hand, which there isn't any. We are going to send three on this quest. So one, two, three. Another spider comes out. So three on four. Thing engages, gets plus one attack. Well, that would have been discarded earlier. Deal shadow cards and shuffle. And then defend here. So base three, our defense is three is good. That thing's not attacking, so discarded. One, two, three, four, five, six attack. Blocks two, takes four. Next turn. Oh, we'll go up to 44. Man, we're making that close. Three resources. Draw a card. I'm going to spend a resource to. Bring that in, same thing as we have over there. Then we'll spin two, uh, choose and discard one condition attachment. Is that a condition? Nope. All right, so spin two for that. So committing to the quest. So four is getting committed to one, two, three, four. So we're even. No traveling. Engagement's done. Dealing cards. We're going to defend there. So base two, block that. And attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Five breaks through, which is going to be nine, defeating the spider. And that is going to take care of this. So that is the basics of how to play. So 44 health back. 
And that is considered the easiest. So the next one goes up quite a bit and then even further. But I just wanted to show you the basics of how this plays. I know I've been playing a lot of Marvel Champions and you've seen Arkham Horror the card game. So this one was the first one that came out. Kind of set the path, got some similar similarities, but enough to make it its own game. So as always, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.